Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play the Ninja Warriors. Last time we killed the love child of Stretch Armstrong and the Hulk, and now we are here at the final stage. I'm going to wait for my meter to fill up before I make any decisions, but as you can see I can go left to right. And it doesn't really matter, the only thing that's different is the assortment of enemies that they throw at you. No new enemies, so I'm just going to go right. They both converge about a quarter of the way into the stage, so it really doesn't make a big difference. I don't know why they give you an option at all. You're not going to get any super awesome items by going one way or the other, so I'm not even going to bother showing both paths. It's the same thing. Uh, whew. This stage is a problem. It's pretty tough. It's not quite as hard as stage 7. I mean, mostly because they're more generous with the health here, but... They do a pretty big enemy gauntlet near the end of the stage, and it's pretty damn tough. So we'll see how that goes. I, this is actually re-recording. Um, I was not pleased with the original. It had not enough energy. And uh, this is actually being done after the snowstorm that we got the other day. I had taken some, uh, taken a video of that. I had gone outside and shown some shots outside of my window of the city skyline, and I was going to use that as my tag video. But uh, my computer is being a dick, and it won't let, it won't recognize my uh, digital camera now. So I guess that won't go up. I'll find, figure out another way to redo that video. So we got a lot. We got somewhere between six and twelve inches somewhere last night. And it was blowing winds all over the place. We're supposed to get more tonight, although it hasn't really done anything. It's been snowing all day. Uh, I don't know, but it kept me off the internet. So, anyway, back to the game. You know, this stage isn't that bad. It's just they throw a lot of foreground objects in you before you get into the central room. And uh, I don't like that because a lot of times it blocks my view of what's happening. Especially when the small guys show up. And I've had quite a few cheap deaths. I managed to get by the enemy gauntlet, and uh, I'll get like sucker punched by one of the other characters, and then I die, and it's all over. I have to start all over again because I'm not going to show deaths. Uh, I can't believe Christmas is only a few days away now. It's going to be so awesome. Oh well. Anyway, I'm having a hard time focusing now. I'm still pretty tired. I've been so busy. Just Christmas shopping. But these guys has to die. Yes, they has to. Alright, let's go. Ugh. These guys in the suits aren't even tough. I think the only time they actually ever do any damage to me is when I'm not facing them. I'm fighting somebody else. They'll kick me. Alright, here we are. The other spot of the level where you can actually stand still and nothing will attack you. But you're on a time limit, so you don't want to waste too much time standing there waiting for things. Uh, now we're in some sort of hangar, the control room. There's a jet behind us. Damn it, I hate that guy so much. He always kicks me from behind. Here. Throwing enemies is probably one of the best ways to get through this stage, especially throwing them over your head. Which you can't do with the other characters, so... Uh, take... Oh, ah! Damn. Use that to your advantage, because there will be enemies all over the place, and when you throw them behind you, there's a pretty good chance they're gonna land on the enemies that are about to attack you. Oh, More of these guys. See, look, he kicked me in the back of the head. Music in this stage doesn't really stand out to me, so I'm not going to compliment it like I have with the last few stages. I mean, it's not bad, it's just it doesn't really do that much for me. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Should be some, damn it, health right around here. This guy, one of the things he'll do in this level is punch you down on the ground, because one, one punch from him knocks you over. And when he knocks you down, he'll start to back up, but it's, once you're getting up animation, fix it, you know, finishes, he'll be right back on top of you and punch you again. And basically, you get locked into this endless cycle of getting knocked over. 
Once I punch that container, I'll end up picking it up. So I'm going to wait a second and see if I can save it. No one else can grab it from you, so don't worry too much about that happening. Playing dangerous games with it now. Here we go. This is where they're going to just continually dump like 20 enemies on top of me, so... Oh, I grabbed it. I didn't mean to, but I guess I had to at some point. Whoa. Ah, oh, crap. The good thing is you're invincible some, during some of your attack animations and throwing animations, but uh, sometimes they end up leaving you open at the very end, and that's what just happened. I ended up getting hit. It's Monkey Dude. Oh. Repelling kick backfires once again. Not staying in the corner, that's for sure. More of these guys, the little guys. They look like monkeys. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they have like cat's claws or something, and I hate them. I hate them! Oh. This guy's gonna try and keep me down on the ground, too. Well, I'm not putting up with it. I have enough problems with the fire guys as it is. I don't need, like, monkey dudes and trash cans trying to attack me at the same time. Doing good so far. I have more health than I usually do when I get to this point. Or have been lately. Remember, I'm on hard mode, and I have not beaten the game on hard before, so... Normal, it's not that bad. It's just this... Hard mode is... It can be brutal, but the difficulty just seems to be random. Oh. I think this is the end of the enemies, but I can't remember. No, I guess not. <laughs> At least those big guys are good for something. These things aren't dying, though. Stupid robots. And I need health for when I get beyond this, because there are more enemies after this. Normally, I think in a game like this, after you fight an endless wave of enemies, that's kind of when the boss fight would start, but not here. Oh, thank god. Alright, let's keep moving. Whoa. Have a control panel. Ugh. Ooh. Nice, I killed him. Where is he? I know he's still alive. There we go. Got him. Alright, I'm gonna keep moving. And uh, this is when our first boss buddy gets revived again. I mean, he didn't, couldn't kill us when there were two of them. He couldn't beat us the first time. Couldn't beat us the second time. So, I, you know, <coughs> why well, waste your time with him? Although, he has managed to kill me the last couple of times I've tried this stage. I'll end up focusing on the two small guys, and he'll come along and punch me once or twice, and <laughs> he does so much damage, I'm usually dead after that. Yay! Ooh! And this is the last little room- Oh, Banglar! Get him! This is the last little room before the boss, so I don't have enough time to show the boss fight. So you're just going to have to wait until the next time, which will probably be tomorrow, since the boss fight's short enough, I can do that. Um, tonight, if I get generous, but I'm actually pretty tired. Shoveling, and all that fun stuff. So, I will see you guys next time, and the conclusion of Let's Play the Ninja Warriors. Uh, assuming I survive this. I might as well show the end of this fight first, and then we're going to end it. A little preemptive. Alright, see you guys next time on Let's Play the Ninja Warriors.